Sharky Gamer here. So today we'll take a look at the Monster Hunter Hunting Grips for PSP. So these are basically gamepad-like attachments that attach to your PSP and make it more comfortable to play for longer time while using your PSP. So these are all Monster Hunter themed and there's three different variations. So there's the first one here which is the green and that's the original one that was, was released. Then the Monster Hunter Hunting Grip S was released which comes in black and red. So we'll take a look at all three today. We'll start with the green one, which was the first released. So this is just a plain green color. It's got a kind of rubberized, kind of matte feel to it. Um, so it's, you know, it's kind of grippy kind of material. You have some Monster Hunter artwork down on the corner there, as well as in the back there. It says a Monster Hunter in the center, and it's got a Monster Hunter little gold sticker thing there. It's plain green all the way around. Now how you install your PSP, normally you would just use a screw to undo this a bit. And this bottom piece would come loose and then you can actually install your PSP. Now this is what makes me think this is actually designed for one of the earlier models of PSP. I have a PSP 3000 in front of me here and when I want to install it I can pretty much just literally just clip it in just like that. I don't need to actually unscrew this bottom to fit it in. And you can see I have a bit of a gap there. So I think this grip is actually designed for one of the earlier models of PSP. But it actually fits the 3000 just fine, as you can see. It could be a little bit tighter, but it's really easy. You can just clip it on and clip it back in. So that's what it looks like in the grip itself. You can see it gives you some nice handles. You can easily reach all the buttons on the PSP. And the triggers. Really comfortable to reach. You can also get access to your UMD drive at the back, so it doesn't block that out at all. You've also got the ports up the top there, and your power at the bottom. Another nice feature is it's got a little bit of a handle here, where you can actually carry it around with you like this. Although I wouldn't be game to do that with the 3000 model, as like I said, it doesn't quite clip as solidly as it probably would have done with another model. So I don't know if I'd be game to carry around this, you know, around when you're traveling around the place. But it's still a nice little handy feature. On the back, you've got this little stand. You can flip it down. And that allows you to put it on a surface of a desk. And that way you can play while on a surface of a desk. Instead of leaning against or holding it like this, you can actually just put all the weight on the desk and play. So it's really comfortable to do so. And playing like this is much more kind of natural way and um, then with the little PSP kind of way normally that you would hold the PSP with. Another cool thing that comes with this, uh, you get the Monster Hunter 2 kind of themed um, cleaning cloth here, so you can clean your screen of your PSP. You also get this pouch, it's got Monster Hunter on it, and it's got some cool artwork down there as well. That's the back of the pouch. And this is kind of a really soft kind of pouch, and it's got more than enough space that you can fit both the grip and the PSP at the same time pre-installed in the pouch with the screen with the screen cloth and carry around town with you wherever you're going. So it's kind of a nice little accessory to include. Okay. On to the next ones. So the next two grips we'll have a look at are the Hunting Grip S. So these are the most recent grips that were released for basically our Monster Hunter themed grips. These ones are for the PSP 2000 and the PSP 3000. So we'll take a look at the black one first. So that's the front of the box just there. You can see the grip through the display window just there. It says a Monster Hunting Grip S. Monster Hunter Portable 3. And there's some artwork just there. The side of the box just says Hunting Grip S. Same with the other side. On the back, so it just kind of shows you a bit of the installation kind of features there. Go ahead and open this up, have a closer look at it. Alright, so in the packaging here, uh, you get this little cloth thingy here. Um, not really sure what really would want to use it for, but it's just a, I don't know, little cloth thing. I don't know. You open this up here, this is your grip. So this is the black version. 
It's got some red artwork on the background there. Let's see, looks pretty cool. As well as down the handles on both sides. And there's a monster hunter just there. It's kind of hard to read. And unlike the other grip, this one actually has a kind of more glossy feel on the front of it. So it's a really kind of shiny, glossy kind of feel. You could probably see the reflection there. And on the back, it's sort of a satin kind of soft matte feel on this one. So it's quite a nice kind of soft feeling on it. The problem with the front, of course, is that it's kind of a fingerprint attractor. You can really... it tracks fingerprints. Um, but it looks quite cool. Another cool thing of this, because it's all compatible with the 2000 as well as the 3000, to make that work, basically they installed these back bits. So you slide this up and out, and now you can put the 2000 in there. When you want to put the 3000 in there, you just align this back in there, and then clip it into place, like that. And you do it on both sides, basically. That pops out, and then you can pop that back into place. So that allows both the 2000 and the 3000 to work in this thing. So to install your PSP, you just unscrew the back. Now because this is, is fitted for the 2000 and 3000, you do have to unscrew this to install the PSP. But it also makes it a bit more solid. So you clip the top. And then you screw it in. Bear with me for a moment. Someone's going to be a bit tricky lining the screw up. Bear with me guys, these ones always are a bit of a pain to get in here. Just to install the first time, once you have it aligned there, it's no problem. Usually the most annoying thing about it is the screw always goes in crooked. And that's why you keep having to try and redo it. It's going in there now though. There we go. You have to do it nice and tight so it actually holds the PSP in place. As you can see, it actually covers a bit of the front there, so it actually is holding the PSP in place, unlike this one here, which didn't do that. That's what it looks like when it's installed. So it's still really easy to access all your buttons that you need, and the triggers, everything else. You can still access the UMD, but the good thing about this one as well, because it doesn't have that top bar, you can actually plug in things in the top, so you could plug the PSP camera in there, you could plug the other stuff in there as well. So that's a good feature of it. This has also got a handle down the bottom here, where you can carry it around just like the other one does. So that's also cool. And of course you can do that more safely knowing that this is more clipped into place than that one was. Another cool thing, it has a stand at the back. Just fold that out. You can rest it on your desk and you can play. Or you could watch a UMD movie or whatever. Pretty cool. So we'll take a look at the red version next. Um, so it's pr practically the same as this version here. Um, it's just a red colouring. Okay, so that's the front of the box just there. You can see the grip through there, the display window. Hunting grip S. Same sort of stuff on the side of the box and on the back of the box. So we've got the same sort of instructions of how to install your PSP into the grip. Okay. So once again, this thing comes with this little material band thingy. I don't know. So it comes with that. And of course it has the grip. And here it is. So it looks identical to the black one. Put these side by side. It's got the same sort of artwork on it, but it's just a red color with white artwork on it. So there's the artwork on the back and on the sides. So there's a monster hunter in the center there. 
And like the other one, it's sort of got the shiny gloss front and the smooth satin kind of matte black back on the back there. So it's quite a soft kind of satin matte feel. And of course it has these grips here, so you can pull them out to install like a 2000 or 3000 and then clip them back in if you need to. Alright, so you install the PSP the same way you did on the black one. Just unscrew the bottom here. Install that one in there. Now, for some reason, this red one always installs more easier than the black one. I've always found this one always goes really nicely in, and the black one doesn't. So, it's probably just because I've used the red one a bit more. There we go. And that's what it looks like once it's installed. So, once again, you can reach everything really easily. Again, it doesn't cover up the UMD, so you can open that up. You can also install the camera and everything up the top there as well. It looks really cool. You've got the carry grip down the bottom. And once again, you don't have to worry about your PSP falling out because it's quite secure with that little um, little stopper there that goes over the bottom of the PSP. And of course, you've also got a stand on the back. So you can flip that up. You can put on your desk. And you can play just like this or watch a UMD movie or something on the screen. So really kind of cool looking. And I actually, like out of all three, I think I prefer the red one. It just looks kind of the most brightest and it looks kind of the best installed. Um, they're all pretty awesome kind of things. Just the red one tends to stand out a bit more. Um, all three of these grips are really handy to use and they all work pretty well. I, all three of them look really cool. They're all Monster Hunter themed and especially if you're a Monster Hunter fan or collector, you definitely need to have these in your collection. And if you're looking for a gamepad sort of thing that you want to attach to your PSP, there are a lot of them out there. But most of them are just kind of standard kind of grips. They just kind of throw in something together that you can just plug, put your PSP in and away you go. But the Monster Hunter grips are really nice and comfortable. They really, they fit nicely and they're not that big, which is a really good plus if you, you know, you want to actually take your PSP, you know, around with you because it's meant to be portable console. And with these grips, they are small. They don't take up much extra space, but they do add a lot more comfort to playing PSP games. So I'd highly recommend the Monster Hunter versions over probably any other grip that I've used. Um, any of those basic grips, anything like that, just because the Monster Hunter not only look cool, but they're also very comfortable to use. Now with the Monster Hunter grips themselves, most of the time it's actually um, hard to find them at a good price. Um, especially on eBay, these things go really high on eBay for some reason. Like, you know, like on its own, used with no packaging, you're probably looking at maybe around $30. Mint in box, you're probably looking at about $50 to $80, which is kind of ridiculous for a grip, actually. So you're best off if you're after one of these to wait for like a second-hand one to come up, as they do come up occasionally, and usually, you know, you can get, a, get them for a decent price. But they're quite cool grips, and they're well worth it to get one. That's about all I can say about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Sharky Gamer. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll have heaps more controller and accessory reviews up very shortly. Thanks again for watching, guys.